everyone, it's me Krista. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are going to be unboxing the Art Snacks box for June 2020. As always, we have our nice little menu that lets us know exactly what's inside. Our monthly little Art Snacks logo sticker. The snack this time is a dum dum. The first actual piece of art supplies is a five-piece Rembrandt Soft Pastels set and is normally $9.95 retail price. Rembrandt Soft Pastels have been the most commonly used pastels in the world for many years. The set of five compatible hues features intense, pure color, and the highest degree of light fastness. Due to being produced with kaolin, an extra fine clear china clay, these pastels have a velvety softness perfect for layering techniques. I remember getting a set of these in a previous Art Snacks box, and I think that I was fine with the pastels, but the other items that they included in the box didn't work as well. I think they included a white Faber-Castell pit pen, and using a marker on top of pastels can be very tricky. They usually don't play very well together. I am testing these on some Strathmore 300 series charcoal paper. I also decided that I wanted to see how this would look on top of a black paper, so I'm also testing it on some Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press in black. I think these colors stand out really well on the black paper, and I might end up using that for the project in the next video. We will see. I did notice I had issues blending out certain colors, though. The next item we have is a Zebra Zensation Graphix Technical Pencil, and this is normally $6.85 retail. With the Graphix Technical Pen, you can expect precision, performance, and comfort. This tool is ideal for sketching and detailed technical drawings, thanks to its narrow lead sleeve that works well with rulers and stencils. From drafting to doodles, its sleek barrel and textured grip lend great control. You'll also find a refillable eraser under the end cap pencil is pretty comfortable in the hands and it works exactly like a mechanical pencil should. I didn't find anything super special about it. I decided to swatch it on the black paper as well. The following item is a Royal and Langnickel Artist Chamois and this is normally $2.79 retail price. Blend your new pastels with the Royal and Langnickel Artist Chamois. It is natural, soft, pliable, and absorbent. You'll find this leather can blend more smoothly than your fingers and won't leave a smudge marks behind on your work. Hand wash the chamois in lukewarm water and hang dry to clean. I personally typically use these just for backgrounds, for like large amounts of blending, not for smaller ones. The fourth item we have is a Creta Color Mega Colored Pencil, and this is normally $2.65 retail. This is a new product. Lay down some major color with the Credit Color Mega Colored Pencil. This oversized, highly pigmented pencil can easily cover large areas in your artwork. It's extra thick, break resistant, core lasts three times longer than a regular colored pencil. I have gotten some of these before, I believe in a sketch box. I love them. I like how pigmented they are. They do last pretty well and I do enjoy these size. I will have to test later in this video how well it layers over those pastels. The final item that came in this month's box is an Edding 1200 metallic color pen. and This is normally $2.60 retail price. This is a staff favorite. Glamorous and versatile, the Edding 1200 metallic color pen will add some shine to your artwork. Its iridescent water-based ink is extremely vibrant and works well on both dark and light surfaces. The soft round nib consistently delivers highly opaque light fast color. I think this is really pretty. I especially liked how it showed up on the black paper here. And at this point, I am just testing the other items on top of a layer of that blended pastel to kind of see how well it works. I did notice over the lightest blue here that especially the gold marker did not layer as well over it. It seems to be like a little chalkier there. It could be because I over layered or it could just be that that one has a slightly different texture. We will have to see in the final project how well they actually work together, but so far it does look like I will be able to layer these okay. That is it for this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, concerns, or you want to let me know your experiences with the art supplies that came in this month's box, please let me know in that comment section down below. 
If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. I do art snacks, unboxings, and projects once a month. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!